All of you may have heard about the fact that it is difficult to use Bitcoin and Ethereum in real life. There are many causes for this, but out of all, the increase in the transaction speed and ledger size are the biggest contributing factors. If you are having trouble understanding this, let's take a look at an example. Here are two glass bottles. Glass bottles refer to nodes participating in blockchain network verification, namely programs, and bottle sizes refer to the space that the nodes can store data. In a blockchain with slow TPS, even if the size of the glass bottle, namely the storage space of the node, is not significantly large, it can still be sufficient to serve as a node. Wait a second, have you heard of the term TPS? TPS is a term that means transaction per second. Generally, on average, Bitcoin processes 7 TPS and Ethereum processes 20 TPS. Basically, it means Bitcoin can only process 7 transactions per second. What would happen if billions of people in our world use Bitcoin? A situation may occur where a person has to wait for at least decades of hours for one payment or transaction to be processed. Because of this, people are saying that it is difficult to use Bitcoin in real-life situations. Ethereum may be better than Bitcoin, but it also is not suitable for processing many transactions. Accordingly, we wondered what would be a payment method which billions of people all over the world could steadily use in real-life situations. The answer was surprisingly simple. It is the credit card, which we commonly use. The practical TPS of the credit card is around 4K. Then what will happen if cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum become upgraded or if blockchain technology with 4K level of TPS appear? The pots that form the current network will probably become filled in an instant, regardless of whether or not the data transmission speed is fast or slow. It becomes difficult to use the blockchain in reality if it cannot handle the data volume. Then, shall we take a closer look at how Locust Chain's pots do not overflow? In reality, the ledger size that one node has to handle 4K TPS is around 172 gigabytes per day. It means around 172 gigabytes of saving storage is required per day. These days, 8 terabytes of hard disk costs around $200. Even a hard disk that possesses this level of super high capacity will not be able to support the node even before it reaches two months. Many teams claim to have solved the problem regarding blockchain transaction speed, but the focus on speed problem solving has led to irony in not solving the problem of increased ledger size. Of course, in order to resolve these problems, Ethereum and other blockchains have reduced the ledger size by implementing simple pruning that simply deletes the outdated data. However, this method weakens the stability of the previous data because there is no way to validate the deleted data. If so, what is Locust Chain's verifiable pruning? Verifiable pruning is an exclusive technology to Locust Chain that can verify validity of the previous data with only the latest hash value. Using a mathematical data structure, hundreds of gigabytes of data can be reduced to tens of kilobytes in a high-speed blockchain network while providing complete data verification. In terms of the increasing accessibility of node operation, verifiable pruning is a technology that has innovatively resolved the problem of the increasing ledger size that had to be resolved for the blockchain to be used in real life. The small storage space required for node operation means that the node can be operated by anyone at low cost of participation, enabling legitimate decentralized blockchain, which can also be used for low-spec devices. The utopia of decentralization through blockchain technology, which many people are dreaming of, Locust Chain, is in its lead. Thank you.